Hello YouTube Pipe Community, uh, Whiteford Pipes, Michael here, and this is uh, take three of, uh, of VR to Harriet Herfer's 100 sub ga. <laughs> Not having much luck. <laughs> First time uh, I uh, had the can uh, my phone freeze up and tell me that I no longer had any... Uh, storage left somehow my YouTube app was using up almost four gigabytes of memory and yet the app is only 25 megabytes so I think that the cache or something or buffering thing or I don't know how to get in there and I just deleted it all so bye bye YouTube app you're gone <laughs> anyway then, my second attempt, I forgot to write down someone that has under um, 100 subs. <laughs> okay, so, here we go. Um, I'm smoking out of the only custom-made pipe I have is my Alexander... Fonderev, um, Canadian here with my uh, with the mammoth uh, tusk ring, and I'm smoking this here out of it. And I really need a smoke. Mm. Probably drinking too much coffee today. <laughs> Hello, Harriet. Um, yeah, I'm probably, uh, this is how I do my coffee anyway. I pour the hot water into a coffee filter that has like a scoop of whatever coffee grounds I'm using. And that's how, because I don't have a coffee maker. I used to, but. Yeah, I'm having a kind of a bad day today, and I run out of sanding away on Rune Dog's pipe, and I run out of uh, the sandpaper, uh, my 320 grit. <laughs> so I'm just using 400 and having to do a heck of a lot more sanding. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, Harriet wants to know. Three of favorite tobaccos and why. And yes, I inhale pipe tobacco. Can't help it. That's what I do. Um, well, I'd say my absolute favorite I ever had the privilege of trying, Harriet, would be and no longer available, just my luck, would be McClellan's Caterini Classic. And it says on the back about it having a curry-like flavor. And they weren't kidding. I just loved it. I savored this whole tin. Of course, that was before I knew they were going uh, out of business. Huh? And I sure would love to get a hold of this. If anyone has it out there and you don't uh, particularly like it for some reason or whatever, I would love to uh, buy it off here or make a trade or something. <laughs> um, so that is my absolute favorite pipe tobacco I've ever tried. And... Uh, I just love the stuff, and uh, I'd love to be able to get more, but I don't know. So that, and I, I just like it because of that curry flavor. It was so unique. I never tasted anything like it before. You know, it would just make me start to salivate. I liked it so much. <laughs> um, for an aromatic, I like this stuff. Peterson's Connoisseur's Choice. 
as you can see the price is $25 up here that's cheaper that's about seven dollars cheaper than but I get that from the local the only brick and mortar in the whole southern Ontario area it happens to be in Haggardville called the um, Cape uh, Cigar and Pipe Emporium and they're on an Indian uh, or a Native uh, American uh, or Inuit People's Reserve um, okay and let me see the other favorite one I have and my tastes are always changing too I don't have the best taste buds in the world and I don't think I have the best sniffer <laughs> maybe it's because I inhale my pipe tobacco I don't know <laughs> but I would say I like Peter Stalkeby's English Oriental Supreme no what am I saying that's the one I recommended to Mark Onerick today oh boy I'm not with it please excuse me proper English proper English Peter Stokeby's proper English that's my uh, favorite go-to I'm almost out of it so I haven't been smoking it lately but that is my all-time favorite smoke I would say and um, yeah okay and then the Connoisseur's Choice by Peterson and the McClellan. Um, the, the reason I like uh, the Peter Stokeby's um, proper English, um, I don't know. I, I think it's just a, it, all the different tobaccos that are in there are kind of at the right proportions that it appeals to me I, I don't really know actually why I I just like it <laughs> and I find it very similar to um, uh, oh what's it called by um, it's not Medal of Valor it's uh, Oh, come on. Ah, uh, it escapes me. It's very similar to another tobacco I like by, um, I can't even think of who makes it. <laughs> well, I'm having a bad day today. <laughs> uh, okay, for the uh, person that I'd like to do a shout out for for under a hundred subs would be the Northeast Piper UK Northeast Piper UK and uh, I guess that's it I'll go and get out of here before I uh, mess something up or, or break something or <laughs> whatever hi honey I'm glad Bun Bun's feeling a little better so thanks for the prayers everybody um, I think she's coming around I appreciate uh, the prayers and support for my best friend you gonna come up and say hello real quick hey you want me to hoist you up I always make that noise when I lift her <laughs> and yeah she's feeling a little better you got a see her this is Bun Bun for anyone who hasn't uh, seen Bun Bun. Bun Bun hasn't been feeling too well, hasn't been eating, but she's starting to eat her dry kibbles again for the first time today in a few days. So I don't know what was happening if she, but she's starting to feel better. So I thank everybody for their uh, thoughts and prayers may sound funny uh, that I'm asking you know for prayers for a rabbit but she's not just a rabbit she's my house pet she's never been in a cage uh, 
She has a little uh, litter tray that she pees and poos on, and she's my little companion. And the bestest little friend I got, eh? <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks again, people, and uh, congratulations, Harriet, on your uh, over 100 subs. And uh, sorry I took so long to get in to watch one of your videos. <laughs> But I have a real uh, problem trying to keep up with everything on YouTube. And <laughs> anyway, uh, have a good day, everyone. And uh, uh, I'll try to uh, get a link there, Harriet, into your uh, comment section of your video there. So take care, everybody. God bless you all. Bye.